Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today's episode is about MemoFix data recovery services. So, I actually had MemoFix approach me and say, hey, we want you to do a Tech Tips episode about MemoFix. They're actually partnered up with NCIX, so they do data recovery service for us and our customers. But I hadn't personally used them out, so I said, you know what, guys? Why don't you hold off? Wait until I have something that I need recovered. I'll send it to you. If you guys recover it, then I guess we'll do an episode talking about how great you guys are and how you recovered my data. So. I had a drive die, but I was about to send it to them for this episode. This is uh, the drive from an external GoFlex drive. I was going to send it to them when I had one of my friends come to me and tell me he lost his RAID array, which actually had about seven years worth of photos on it. It had been corrupted. It was completely non-recoverable by, he'd tried a few different OSs. He'd tried his RAID software, rebuilding the array. Nothing was working. And he was like, I don't know what to do. So I said, hey, I happen to have a, uh, you know, one free meal card with these MemoFix guys. Why don't we try them out, see if it works. So long story short, they got all of his data back to him in perfect order. So I'm going to tell you guys all about MemoFix and uh, what makes them special. So MemoFix has been around for a while. They were actually the first authorized repair center for Seagate hard drives in Canada. They actually have the largest hard drive component inventory in Canada with as compared to their competitors, less overhead because they don't have to buy parts as needed. So what that means is when they're trying to recover a drive and they have to take off the lid of the drive and they have to replace the read heads in order to try to read the data on it and get it onto another drive, they might have to go through a few read heads in order to successfully recover the data off the drive. That means that, uh, especially with a damaged drive, it can be very, very hard on the parts that they're using to, to donate to the drive to recover the data. So what that means is that if they don't have that inventory on hand, they might have to buy inventory as they need it, which is going to slow down the time it takes for them to recover your data. and like I said before, increase the overhead costs associated with recovering your data. So they also have a wide variety of expertise. They can actually replace heads, platters, and even repair slash rebuild the engineering tracks on the drive. So normally these are tracks that end users or even repair centers have zero access to. Only the manufacturers have access to them. And they were telling me actually that it requires special equipment ordered directly from Russia for some reason to read the engineering tracks on these drives and they can even recover errors there. So what kind of stuff can MemoFix recover data from? Well, Computer storage devices, which is not to say that something like RAM would work. This is volatile memory. As soon as the power goes out, the data is gone. But their services are not limited to just hard drives. So with a hard drive, there's a lot of different things they can do. They can recover data from any file system, whether it's Unix, Solaris, NTFS, that's Windows, Mac. They can recover any hardware issues, including physical abuse, such as shock, that is if you drop or hit the drive against something water, fire, wear and tear, head crashes, which means when the drive head um, is no, actually contacts and scrapes the spinning platters which store your data, that's, that's terrible because it removes the magnetic coating. In fact, when you open up the drives and that happens, there can be dust inside that just comes off. That was, that was your data. But they can often recover data from drives that have experienced a head crash. Seized spindle motors are often a common one for external drives because they get moved around and banged around so much. They are the experts on physical damage, but my experience was actually with software, so there are clearly no slouches there either because I had a corrupted RAID array that I gave to them. Now, physical stuff, there's not as much that you can do with something like an SSD, but they still do have options with SSD. So for example, if you have a broken connector or if you have a fried PCB, they can actually desolder the chips and recover the data chip by chip and reassemble it for you with an SSD. Now this also applies to things like SD cards and even USB flash cards, no matter how cute and snowman shaped your USB flash card or flash drive rather, happens to be. So that means that not only are they limited to physical, but also things like partition problems, also things like system errors, deleted data, and as I think I mentioned before, even in the case of these guys, things like PCB failure. So guys, We've all heard of the freezer trick. That's where you take your hard drive, you put it in the freezer. Um, sometimes the, the shrinking, contracting of the physical nature of the disk allows you to recover data from the drive. However, 
There are issues associated with it. You'll see people advising you to do the freezer trick or knock it against something to, to loosen the drive head. Yeah, sometimes it'll work, but only try stuff like that if you're dealing with very worthless data. If it's anything you care about, like my friend's seven years of photos, don't try that stuff because it's just not worth it. Anything you do to your drive, whether it's knocking it against something, putting it into extreme temperatures and then bringing it back out, which can cause condensation, even on the inside of the drive, moisture in a drive, bad, bad news, okay? Basically, anything you do, recovery, utilities, anything you do has the potential to make the problem even worse. So as the longer you operate or continue to work on a drive that is beginning to fail, the worse your chances of someone like Memofix being able to recover it at all. So let's talk a little bit about the overall process and then obviously you guys are going to care about approximately how much does it cost because yeah, data recovery services are known to cost thousands and thousands of dollars in many cases. So these guys are actually somewhat consumer friendly depending on how important the data is to you, but let's go through the process first. So the NCIX MemoFix data recovery process. So you bring the device to NCIX. NCIX actually creates the, uh, the case for you with MemoFix. They package the drive for you in an approved package and they ship it to you for free to MemoFix. MemoFix receives the box and the evaluation is performed. So that's when they tell you what the percentage chance of them recovering the data, what they think they can do, how much of the data they think they can recover. They actually contact you with a quote. Up till now you have paid nothing to ship the drive and have them quote you. So if you approve the quote and provide payment, they perform the data recovery, they let you know the results, you confirm the results, and then they prepare the data for return to you on a target device so you can provide them with an additional drive or you can buy a drive from them. We prefer if you buy the drive from NCIX, just so you guys know. Um, if you do not confirm the results, then MemoFix returns the item to you for no charge. So if after they perform the recovery, you do not confirm the results, you get the drive back and not recovered, but you don't have to pay. Pretty cool, right? And then one way or another, whether it's been recovered or not recovered, you receive the item at the end of it. So approximate sort of starting price points are for something like an accidental format, reinstallation of the OS, typically about 90% recoverable. This is all over here. The time estimate is about a week and you're looking at about $500 to $700. For things like firmware corruption and electronic failure, it's probably somewhere in the same similar sort of price range. And with those errors, it's typically 95 to 100% recoverable recoverable. For physical damage, mechanical failure, physical shock, static electricity, power surges, dust, dirt, no lubrication, or the drive moved when it's powered on. Remember, the way I'm treating this drive is completely inappropriate. This is already a dead drive, guys. Do not move your drives around like this. They should be treated very, very gently. Possible loss of data ranges with extent of damage, uh, depending on the extent of the damage and the chances of recovery are zero to 80%. But remember, they will tell you how much they think they can recover before uh, they go ahead with the recovery and before you have to pay. Now, my assumption is that if they tell you what they can recover, they do everything they say they'll do and it costs as much as they said it would cost and you don't confirm the results, there's probably some gray area in there. But if they're able to achieve everything they say they're able to, then you should be pretty much good to go. So I think that pretty much is it. The last thing I want to mention in this particular episode, it's all about data recovery and data restoration solutions and all that good stuff. But the reality of it is, if you back up your data regularly, you will never have to worry about this. I highly recommend getting something like a cloud storage service to back up your most essential things in addition to something physically next to your computer like a NAS box or like a RAID enclosure where you are not only backing up your data in two separate locations but also to the cloud because if you lose things like your precious photos, anything like that, the reality of it is, unless you want to spend $500 to $1,000, remember it's $800 plus for anything physical, you're probably not going to be able to get it back. So thank you for checking out this episode about Memo Fix. Don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips for more informational and educational videos just like this one. Uh, hi, I'm David Foster. I'm the general manager of MemoFix Data Recovery Labs. Um, basically what we do here is recover data from hard drives, uh, USBs, uh, RAID, RAID arrays, uh, just about any 
digital storage device made today we're able to repair, re recover the data from. Um, our specialty is really hard drives. Uh, we've been doing hard drives since uh, the late 80s and we can basically tear a hard drive down to a single part, put it back together and hopefully get it working again. Um, our basic uh, method of operation, the first thing we try and do is get an image of the hard drive. Uh, if the hard drive is working, that's no problem. We just take an image of it and then recover any uh, files off it that are inaccessible due to uh, file system damage. Uh, but in most cases, over 50%, uh, actually probably over about 60%, the hard drive has a, a problem with it and we first need to diagnose and get the hard drive back working. Uh, it's not always possible, probably about uh, 20-15% of the time the drive has crashed beyond recoverability. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, determine which components on the drive have failed. We'll test the heads and the printed circuit board and then we'll uh, uh, test the media inside. Um, we'll determine what's wrong, we'll clean up all the damage inside, get rid of all the uh, dust in our uh, clean bench and replace the head assembly with a new one and attempt to get an image of the drive. Uh, sometimes this procedure is repeated three or four times in order to get an image of the complete drive. Um, and once we have an image, then we work just on that image from then on, we put the client's drive aside. So we never uh, work on live data, we always work on a copy of the data. Uh, that's the premise any good data recovery shop should follow.